Hello everybody and welcome to Lunenburg, a place that we consider to be a perfect day trip when you're visiting Halifax, Nova Scotia. Lunenburg is actually the oldest German settlement in Canada and since 1995 it's been a UNESCO heritage site. And it's only about an hour drive from Halifax. Today is a beautiful sunny day, so we're going to see what we can do here and of course eat here. Lunenburg is super cute. It has all these colorful little buildings. You can see behind me. They have all these different colors and there's all these little shops, souvenirs and crafts and little well, restaurants. Super cute. Doesn't look too German to me, but super nice, especially right next to the water. So relaxing and cute. So one of the most iconic images of Nova Scotia would have to be the Blue Nose. And right behind me, we actually have the Blue Nose too. So if you don't know what the Blue Nose is, it's actually a schooner, a ship that was built in 1921, the original. And it was a fishing vessel that actually raced as well. It is considered to be the pride of Nova Scotia because it beat the Americans in every racing competition that it ever entered. So it was undefeated for its entire lifespan, I guess you would say. But it was destroyed off the coast of Haiti at one point, and so they built a replica with the same blueprints, and it has the exact same designs. So we are on the Blue Nose right now, and it's actually free, which is super cool. The boat's super nice and shiny, and it's actually featured on the 10 cent coin, the dime, in Canada. So everyone knows it. Super iconic. Right now we're at Smoke Pit Barbecue for some lunch. Now of course, traditionally, if you come to a seaside town like this, you should probably have some fresh seafood, but because we've had fresh seafood this entire trip so far, we decided to go for something a little bit different today. And of course, as you can see, we have barbecue. While having barbecue, of course, you should accompany it with some beer. We have a Nova Scotia beer called Schooner, and we also got a local cider as well. We have a couple different things. The first thing we have is brisket. We also have some fresh made cornbread. We have mac and cheese baked beans, which I think also have brisket inside, and some jerk chicken tacos. I am going to try the brisket first. So we actually don't have a lot of experience with barbecue at all because we haven't been to the States together yet. So I don't really have much comparison, but I'm really excited to try this and see how delicious it is. It looks so good, so juicy and fatty. I'm just gonna rip it off with my hands. And we have some sort of sauce here. I'm not sure what it is, it didn't really say. And some pickles. Mm. That's so good. It's actually pretty chewy, but it's super flavorful. It's still super juicy. It's really smoky, obviously, as the name suggests. Smoked the barbecue into smoked meat. Yeah, that's really good. The sauce is really creamy. It has like a tiny hint of a spice to it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it goes really well with the meat. Mm. It's really fatty too. Yum. Now I will try the beans. These look really good as well. I grew up eating baked beans, so I had high expectations. There's big chunks of meat in there. Mm. Oh, those are really good. So these are much better than I expected. These are also smoky, a little bit sweet, 
The beans have a nice little bite to them. And the meat is really soft and tender as well. So far, everything's really, really good now. Let's see how the tacos taste. I'm gonna try the jerk chicken taco. It has cilantro on it and what is that, cheese? Ooh, and it has some green stuff, but like garlic butter or something? No, I don't know. Let's see. It's a bit dry, actually. Really? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I need to like rub the sauce over it a bit more. I wanna see what this green stuff is. Mmm. I think it's like a garlic butter or something like that. It's kind of spicy too. You need to tell me what it is. So when you get the sauce with it and whatever, it's way better. I just got a bunch of chicken. This, this is quite yummy. It's not spicy. It's very flavorful as well. So I'm super excited about the mac and cheese. It's a very North American dish. And it has these like crispy bits. I think it's potato chips on top. Mm. This is yummy. And you have the crunchy bit that gives it like a different texture. The sauce is super cheesy, creamy, and yeah, it's just yummy. So the final thing we have to try is the cornbread. Of course, with cornbread, one thing that you have to watch out for is that it can be too dry sometimes, but this looks pretty moist, so let's see. Mm. So good. Mm. So it's definitely a tiny bit dry, but with the butter that they serve it with, it kind of melts down into it and it lubes that up a little bit. Overall, it's still really, really delicious. It's kind of cakey, it's a little bit sweet, but yeah, this is really, really tasty. I think you'll really like this too. We came to Sweet Treasures Confectionery for a snack for a dessert and we got maple walnut ice cream. If you come to Canada, you have to get something maple. So this is perfect. It also comes in a waffle cone, freshly made. Mm. Mm. This is like my favorite. It's so mapley and walnutty and sweet and creamy and kind of almost tastes like it has this syrup in it or something. It should if it's maple. So good, best ice cream flavor ever. We came to Ironworks Distillery for some booze. Apparently they make vodka here and maybe rum, maybe other boozes. Let's see inside. So we're at Ironworks Distillery right now and I'm going to try their blueberry liqueur. So they have all sorts of different flavors. They have rhubarb, they have some maple liqueurs, creamy maple liqueurs and all these other things, but it smells very sweet already. I think this is 20 something percent. He said it's the sweetest they have. Yeah, he said it's the sweetest they have. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. I don't think it's actually that sweet. It's pretty sweet, but you definitely do taste blueberries. One thing that I didn't mention before, Nova Scotia is very well known for blueberries, so that's why they have blueberries. Same with rhubarb. Mm. It's pretty good. I like it. I have the rhubarb liqueur here and it's 18% and the guy said that it's the best. At least the customers say it's the best. Let's try it. Mm. It's really sour. It should be. Yeah. It does taste like rhubarb and it's definitely less strong than the other one. I actually like the blueberry one better. Really? Maybe. I'm not a local. But this one's delicious too. at St. John's Church in Lunenburg and this church was founded in 1753. It's really cool. I've never really seen a church like this, like black and white but made out of wood and it actually looks like all these houses here with these stripes. Um, and it actually burned down in 2001 and then the town and friends from all over the world and local craftsmen rebuilt it and it was reopened in 2005.
Well, that is the end of our video today here in Lunenburg. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video because we really enjoyed ourselves here. Lunenburg is such a perfect little chill so spot. So beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's, as we said, perfect for a little day trip. The architecture, everything, it's so nice. So if you have some time, we highly recommend coming here for a day. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it, leave us a comment and subscribe so you don't miss a future content and another video in Canada. That's it. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.